Welcome, dear friends, to another episode from our Breakforth Virtual Holy Land Tour. Today we're going to visit the Great Commission Stone on the Mount of Beatitudes. Please join us on a journey down the Mount of Beatitudes to this inspiring sight overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Okay, let's put on our hiking shoes, grab our water bottles, and head on down. As we walk, I'll talk. As we begin our descent down the Mount of Beatitudes, take a moment to breathe in the gentle breeze and let the beauty of the surrounding landscape wash over you. Walking down the mountain, we can almost imagine the disciples following closely behind their beloved Master, listening intently to His every word. According to Scripture, Jesus gave the Great Commission on a mountain. And although we don't know which mountain this is, most Bible scholars believe that Mount Arbel is the correct mountain, as it's the tallest mountain in the area, and it provides a perfect view of the Sea of Galilee and many areas in the Galilee where Jesus performed most of His ministry. But the only indication of where Jesus gave the Great Commission is from the Gospel of Matthew, which simply says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And this is why others also believe that this may be the location, as it's on the Mount of Beatitudes, it's above the historic Eremos Tapos cave, where for 1700 years, people revered as the place where Jesus went away to pray in quiet. And it's just above Tabga, where he commissioned Peter as the rock upon which Jesus would build his church. So is Mount Arbel the mountain? Or is this the mountain? Or is it some other mountain? Remember, the exact location is not as important as the message of Jesus. And that message is the calling by Christ to every believer who has lived and who ever will live. It goes like this. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Okay, we made it. We're here at the Great Commission Stone one of the possible locations for Jesus giving the Great Commission to His disciples and to us today. Every time I arrive at this commemorative stone, looking out to the Sea of Galilee and the lands in the distance, I'm filled with a sense of awe and reverence. As you stand on the hill, overlooking the Sea of Galilee, you sense Christ's call to reach out beyond yourself and to go into all the world. And perhaps, if this is the mountain where Jesus gave the Great Commission, this ground holds within it the echoes of Jesus' timeless words to His disciples. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Imagine the weight of those words resonating in the hearts of the disciples their lives forever transformed by the charge to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. As we stand here today, we're invited to embrace that same calling, to carry the message of grace and forgiveness, of acceptance, of faith, and of love to every corner of the world. Now, let's take a moment to commit ourselves afresh to the mission that Jesus entrusted to His disciples and to all who would follow Him. Thank you for joining us on this very short virtual tour to the Great Commission Stone. Until our next episode, remember, Christ's calling continues and together by the grace and power of the Holy Spirit, we can each be a beacon of light and love to those around us and 
to the utter ends of the world.